Welcome back to Let's Play Storyteller. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, we got married, we executed our enemies, we had an affair, and we killed God. There was a lot of stuff going on. At the end of the last episode, I uh, unlocked the achievement for playing the game for more than two hours. When I checked, I learned that there's only five achievements in this game. The others are the crown, get the crown, which is nice and straightforward. Mischief, all devil levels. Silence, make uh, zipch sad. I'm sorry, I have no idea how the name Z Y P C E is meant to be pronounced. And collector, all stamps. Except I haven't. Oh, maybe the stamps are the uh, little dots next to the puzzles. We'll see. Or maybe I haven't even encountered those yet. Machiavelli. Baron rules alone. Oh, this is going to be like a reference to the plot of uh, The Prince, isn't it? Unfortunately, I don't actually know how the story goes, just that he was uh, putting one of his rivals on blast. Okay. Uh... I can do that, sure. Baron murders the king. And then to make this work, the queen is kidnapped. Oh, no, not by the maid. Fuck. Hmm. Oh, fuck! No, that's not it either. Why do you murder the maid? How does that benefit you? Is he just a psychopath? The queen doesn't just straight up murder him. <laughs> the queen waiting with no one else in the room. The queen in the cage is. Oh shit, what's going on? <laughs> See, the issue is. The Baron becomes the ruler by marrying the queen, but she's not interested. So he, ha she, he has to save her. I don't know, Quang marries the fucking maid? I don't have revive, so I can't kill her. I'm gonna bring her back. And the king won't marry the maid if the queen is alive! And I guess we'll just swap those, huh? Okay, yes, Baron kills queen. King marries maid. Baron kidnaps Ugh. King. Uh. Oh. Now she's still alive. Okay, Baron oh. fucking murders the king. Baron marries maid. Baron murders Wade, so he's the only ruler. Yes, Baron rules alone. There's going to be a lot of garbage today. Um, tell you what, I am an old-fashioned softy, so let's have him just kidnap his <laughs> wife instead of murdering her. <laughs> That's better. Oh no, she's still the ruler in the cage, so it has to be murder. God damn. This game is harsh. Oops. Wait. No. How bizarre. Monsters. Chapter 12. Werewolf. Cemetery, spelled with an S, which means it's a reference to Stephen King's pet cemetery. Uh, dragon, vampire, and professor. Place your bets. Will it be Jekyll and Hyde? Frankenstein? Who will the professor be? Werewolf! Bernard drinks poison. No fucking way. That's what that's what Bernard's thing is. <laughs> yeah, he turns into a goddamn wolf if you place him in the moon scene. Okay, cool. Oh no! Forest. Bernard, Juliet, they fall Juliet. They fall in love. Forest. <laughs> 
Does anyone do that? No, Juliet just gets scared in the moon scene. So yeah, only Bernard turns into a fucking werewolf. I guess he is pretty hairy. Uh, before that, I mean. Although it is funny to me that his beard and hair look nothing like his, you know, head and fur in uh, werewolf form. Let me guess. He's going to murder Juliet. Yeah, that's a bad scene. Let's just test that. He oh, God, that's not a ghost. That's the lower half of her body with a bone sticking out of it. Like it's... Like she's got Among us did. Fuck. Okay, that was... I mean, you know, it was cartoony, just a clean white bone, no blood or anything, but fuck! Oh, I see. Bernard turns back into a man, because the, the moon is going behind... Oh, it's an eclipse. Well, whatever. Bernard, Juliet's dead body. He's heartbroken to see what he has done. Bernard drinks poison. I am curious, though. No, the, were the werewolf does not want to drink the poison. My god. Cemetery. Pet comes back to life to enact revenge. Why is a fair here if the only three things are Bernard, Isabel, and Dog? Is Isabel cheating on Bernard with the fucking dog? Uh, no, it turns out. Wait, he's a werewolf. No! <laughs> I mean, it just looks like he wants to pet the dog, but they do have hearts over their heads. Oh, there's the sugar plum fairy again. Isabel murders dog. No, she doesn't. Uh. Oh! No. Huh. Well, she's the aggrieved party here. Oh, wait. Dog in the bush. Bernard. No, that's not it. How the fuck? I don't actually know how to kill the dog if, uh... The only method I have of execution is the cliff. A fair revive cliff. But Isabel watched this happen, and she doesn't want to kill the guy, so... What? Oh! I don't think she loved them then. Yeah, now she's proper pissed. Okay, first scene... The first scene, Dog indifferently watches as Bernard and Isabel have an affair. Uh, Isabel watches with fury as Bernard is happy and wants to pet a dog whose tail is wagging. Oh, that's really cute. Um, now Isabel murders the dog. Oh! Just a swift kick. No! <laughs> Bernard is horrified by the dog. Wait, I have a better idea. Dog is revived in panel four. <laughs> Isabel gets barked off the cliff by the dog. And we have a happy ending as uh, Bernard at least gets to keep the dog. And, you know, isn't in a love affair with a murderer. I wonder if Isabel is based on someone in particular. She seems particularly... Uh, <laughs> in tune with the part of this game I wasn't expecting. Dragon! Queen gets Baron arrested. Oh, right, the disguise, yes. Uh, ballroom. Do I need to set something other? No, they're just staring at each other. Okay, disguise. Detective! No. Just messing with you there. I wonder... No, she has no idea what to do with that. Okay, Baron is dressed like a dragon. Baron scares the... 
Everyone scares the queen. Uh, I like that. He sort of shakes his head so the mouth closes a bit. Even though it's in front of his eyes. Uh, another ballroom scene where the queen... Oh shit, runs off and tells the detective about a dragon! Oops. Oh right, he's also intimidated by the dragon, so the Baron takes his disguise off first. Oh fuck, but he doesn't know it's uh How the fuck do I do that? <laughs> hmm. Got this panel over here. No, it doesn't change it at all. Fuck. The problem is there's no reason for him to do that. There's no reason for the Baron to be arrested because I can't make him do anything illegal. And if, he, if he's dressed as the dragon, the detective is too scared to arrest him. But there's no way for the Queen to know that the, uh... Wait... Huh. That doesn't help at all. I thought she might put it together. Oh, wait! No! I thought the detective might, like, have a different response to it if he'd been told about the dragon. Maybe if I have the uh, guy take the costume off... Ah! Yes, he did! Okay, so, Baron puts on the dragon costume, scares the queen. Baron takes off the dragon costume. Queen tells detective about the dragon. Baron discovers dragon costume and deduces from a fingerprint that it's the Baron. And arrests the Baron for being the dragon. Even though I don't think being a dragon is actually a crime. Vampire. Oh, I should mention that this uh, image here is a bunch of pine trees. There's a wolf howling at the full moon. Uh, five bats flying overhead, and two people hugging each other tight and looking scared up at the sky. At all this nonsense around them. F vampire! Cured of vampirism. John, Mina, and Dracula. Imagine that. Knight, Crypt, and Professor. These are all new. So that's gotta be Jonathan and Mina Harker, and that's... Well, we all know who Dracula is, duh. What to see here? Knight, Dracula. Yeah, that's Dracula. Oh no, he turned her into a vampire. Oh, of course, yes, vampires are uh, notoriously not straight creatures. Um, so you'd bite either of them. Crypt. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how these interact. Professor. Oh, th this is a scene that comes with its own character. That's new. Uh, John. They're just smiling at each other. Mina, they're just smiling at each other. Okay, he holds up garlic, so he doesn't do anything bad there. Is Dracula dead now? No. Um... Hmm. What a stupid story this is so far like this, where it's just, Dracula went for a walk, he took a nap, he went to talk to this guy and got chased off. This must be Abraham Van Helsing, by the way. Um... Okay, uh... Mina gets turned into a vampire. Let me guess. Okay, yeah, he has no reason to... say anything there, so... Crypt, it is Crypt. Uh, wrong side. Oh no, it's the first one you put down. Wait. Oh, I like. I didn't notice that. Her hair changes color when she's a vampire. I mean, it was, you know, the bride of... Frankenstein, who had a white streak through her hair, not the Bride of Dracula, but whatever. 
Uh, John sees her as a vampire. Uh, John tells the professor about Mina being a vampire, and he tells him he needs to stake Dracula. I see. I am curious. <laughs> you know, the garlic is not the cure for vampirism that they were talking about. Let me guess. Oh, no, crypt, crypt. Uh, Dracula and... Oh, of course, of course. Oh, my. He staked him and he turned into a uh, desiccated corpse and a bat flew out of him and disintegrated. That was a interesting one. And Mina is cured of vampirism because Dracula's dead. And I have another panel there, so let's just throw on... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the, the yeah, the professor laughing at the corpse of Dracula. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, that's perfect. I like that. And professor, watch this just completely fuck up my predictions, and it is actually about Professor X. Monster is slain. Baron, forest, moon, disguise, professor, and Bernard. Well, I don't like the Baron, so I'm going to try to make this that the werewolf kills the dragon. <laughs> Let's see. Bernard and B Baron in the forest, they do nothing except stare at each other because they absolutely do not care about each other. Uh... Disguise. Bernard? No, I didn't think so. Bernard, Let's see. Baron disguises himself as a dragon. Dragon scares Bernard in the woods. <laughs> oh no! If okay, I, I I feel like I can do this two ways, where uh, either Bernard sees the dragon, tells the professor about him, and he gives him a gun. So I'm guessing that if I put down forest and then these two, it'll have Bernard shoot the Baron dressed as a dragon. But what if I do this? Turn him into a werewolf. There's the Baron disguised as a dragon. Oh, they're both afraid of each other. Okay, that that's fair. That's fair. I mean, no one ever said, you know, werewolves were smart, just really powerful. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, let's go back with my original idea, then. The one I stumbled into. Here's a fucking gat. Um, I mean, it's a flintlock, but you know. <laughs> Monster is slain, either werewolf dies or dragon dies. Okay, so I still do have the dot there. And one more. Right. Alright, then... What I'll do is completely throw this story out. So... Oh no, moon first. Oh. Oops, I've killed the professor in panel three by doing that, but let's fix that problem. Let's just do this. Oh no, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Half a man sitting in the wheelchair. Um. Oh! No, I get it now. If I. Sorry, I just realized that if I put the uh, werewolf and the, bar the baron in the same scene, he'll just kill the baron. Oh, I like that he frowns if the guy in front of him is... Oh, no, he just doesn't smile if the guy in front of him is the Baron. Interesting. Or maybe he never smiles. Maybe I was thinking of someone else. And... <laughs> the professor does not seem particularly bothered by the this half a man standing in front of him. Uh, right. So what I actually need to do is disguise the Baron as uh, a dragon. Turn. Oops. God damn it. There. Turn were Bernard into a werewolf. <laughs> the werewolf and the dragon encounter each other. Baron puts the costume back. Uh, no, no, no. 
The Baron visits the professor and gets a gun for the werewolf, presumably with a silver bullet. Ooh, I like that. The, uh, the uh, drawing is like, he got shot mid-pounce. I did that in uh, Alan Wake 2 a couple times with the Taken Wolves. Monstrous Lane Werewolf Dies. Timer's about to go anyway, so I might as well... There we go. I switched it back to the story where uh, the Baron is the one who dies, because fuck that guy. <laughs> Having said that, that will bring us to the end of Chapter 12. Tune in to the next episode of Let's Play Storyteller, and we'll find out what's next. I can't wait. See you then, Bernie Dog fans. Later!